Take your boring white t-shirt and create a magnificent one-of-a-kind work of art with a lot of help from Mother Nature. The how-to's coming right up. Hi, it's Marcy and welcome back. Today's creative project revolves around taking Mother Nature's finest leaves, twigs, and stems and turning them into printing tools with a little help from paint, creating one of a kind, beautiful pieces of art. You can use t-shirts. We're using today also some tea towels and aprons. I'm really excited to show you the transformations. I know you'll just be excited as I am. It's super creative, super fun, and you get the whole family involved. Let's dive right into the project. For our leaf printing project, I am preparing a t-shirt. I gently ironed the t-shirt because I prefer to work with that without um, so many wrinkles. Typically I don't iron my t-shirts, but to print on them, I feel better about doing it on an ironed t-shirt somewhat. I have some parchment paper. I also have a piece of carton that I'm going to stick in between the t-shirt because we don't want the paint going to the other side. I have an sundry of colors of paint. Now you can work with a smaller palette. You can just take one color if you wanted to or two colors, it's okay. I just have, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be using at this juncture, so I'm just keeping a whole bunch of colors handy because I might get inspired to use different colors as well as an inexpensive plastic storage container that I simply covered with saran wrap so I can dispose of the saran wrap and use this storage cover again. I also have some inexpensive sponges, a kitchen sponge that I cut up into little smaller pieces, as well as some freshly cut leaves. That's very important. I'm actually using this as well. Now, this is a product by Golden GAC 900. It, it's a heat setting solution where you can mix 50-50 with your paints. Now, you don't need this, but I find it makes the fabric feel a little softer. The transition when the, the paint dries on the fabric, it feels softer to me. So I use this. You can just use water or just straight paint um, with the application from the sponge to the leaf and then print it. It's We're really not working on huge areas, but it's just something that I like to use personally when I'm using um, fabric as my canvas. All right. Pour a little bit of my solution into a plastic cup so it's easier to use. It is a rather large container. All right, let's have some fun here. All right. Now, you could do something botanically inspired if you wanted to use the leaves in that direction. For example, uh, if you want to place them on here and have something really wispy and free, that would be beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You might want to do something like this. This is something on an old t-shirt that I used as a sample from my husband's stash. And I simply cut off the, the collar and the um, sleeves and I wear that to work out. You could do something like that. And once again, just gently rub the leaf. And 
spill that a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to overlay that. for over here you can start another one I think for the placement I'm gonna keep it right about where I had it something like that would be nice you could actually just have one there with a, like a little stem with little leaves here that would be very pretty very very pretty or you could do two and do a leaf and stems here hmm or three. I think we're going to stick with the three. What I'd like to do is take this purple porter weed and take the stem and create some fluid stems coming out from the flowers. Really impressionistic style. We're not looking for anything that's too detailed, but I'm going to take a little bit of a mix of this green and the yellow. I mean, actually, that's the lime green. Excuse me. Marcy, get your colors straight. See how this works out. I think this is going to be rather interesting. Let's try to emulate nature. Hmm. It's read as it is, right? I'm not looking for perfectionism. Okay, so that's nice, that's good. That works, right? Super nice. So that other purple porterweed stem was a little bit too wet to do for a second printing. I was a little concerned about getting paint all over the place. We don't want that. So I did go and get myself another plant weed. I really thank the flowers for all their support in this because without them, this wouldn't be possible. Okay, we're gonna ink this up as well and maybe I'll just put that like right here or something. It doesn't even have to be even because then we can do little stems, little um, leaves right there. So let's do that. I like the look of it. And you gotta hold the end part, rub it a little bit back and forth. That paint adhesion is, or that paint that we just put on there is really allowing it to stay in. It's nature, we'll put some buds there maybe, huh? Alright, we're gonna put this to the side so we don't get anything messed up with that. That's very, very pretty. What are you thinking? Hmm? I think that we need to do maybe a little center of a color there as well. Let me see. Let's take some. I'm going to take a purple here. Purpley color. Put it there. And then maybe um 
me see. A pink color over here, I think. Okay, now what I'd like to do is finish this off with some tiny leaves right here, wispy little leaves, right here, right here. That'll be nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous, look at that. Ah, oh, so pretty. Mm. Now who wouldn't love to receive this as a gift? This is just simply divine. Let's see, I think we maybe need one more because we didn't, I tend to do things in odd numbers. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but for me personally, I need an odd number in there. Ah, yes, yes, beautiful. I thought I would take some leaves and, and print some green splashes of color right up here. Remember, this is impressionistic style. Our t-shirt is officially done and it deserves a signature, of course. So actually it's not officially done until it is signed, but I love it. You've already seen my painting setup with the cardboard and what we're painting on and the paint. So I'm going to proceed to just demonstrate on the tea towel without saying too much, and I'm gonna go off camera right now and just show you what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be making little fishies. Perfect. We're done. I'm keeping my color scheme yellow, and for the third flower, I'm incorporating a different leaf. So we have three different leaves, but palettes of yellow. And I'm gonna take my design and I'm gonna put it a little bit on the pocket. Same application technique. Remember to, to be wiping your hands so that you're not contributing to any kind of spots as you go along, and also use a fresh uh, sheet of parchment paper to uh, go over and press on your leaves.
and I would like to thank you for joining us. Have what was that? Oh, Ziva says she would like a hand painted printed leaf shirt too. Okay, we can work on that, okay? You want to thank the audience, the viewers? Yes, you do. Thank you so much for joining us. Have an amazing day.